Hello there, in this tutorial I'm going to discuss about uh, dynamic distribution group. So in our last video we have uh, created a distribution group uh, but in the distribution group while creating that we have to manually add the members out there. Manually we have uh, find it out which are whichever user will be of that group we have manually added or we have a rights to remove the member as well but dynamic distribution group won't let you uh, find it out the member or create a membership manually or remove it you just need to create a filter out there and according to the filter it uh, add members it can remove members as well and that is totally depend on whatever filters you have using or you're using in this particular uh, exchange management because in dynamic distribution entire active directory will be will be sync and according to your filter only uh, you you can find it out uh, the memberships are getting changed the matter membership are getting added the membership are getting removed one person who's uh, uh, particularly uh, referring to for example one person is uh, uh, equalizing two of the filter in your active directory and if you remove one filter and still the second filter satisfy the condition then still the membership will remain for example one guy who's uh, a member of uh, of account department also belongs to Delhi if you just remove one of the filter and if still it satisfy another filter membership will remain stay and I'm going to create a new dynamic distribution and am I adding the particular distribution group to some of the uh, 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 for example OU for example I say help desk and I'm saying okay so okay this particular uh, dynamic distribution group will be the part of help desk so i'm just saying next and if you want to add any name of the dynamic distribution group you can uh, give a name for example i say help jc for example so according this is this is particularly the mail smtp name will be so alias you can give a alias for example i continue with the help jc next and then uh, there is a filter setting now this is one of the filter is that uh what kind of people will be the part of it configuring the filter used to select recipients for the dynamic means uh, how many recipient types will be so the following specific either you can go with specific either say user with exchange mailbox user with external email addresses resources mailbox or contact with external email addresses or mail enabled groups so i say all recipient time no problem i am not going to uh, particularly include or exclude the recipient time now this is what the condition is the important part is now what are the conditions should satisfy a user needs to satisfy there are particular uh, attributes out there the main attributes like state or province department or, or a company so these are the three main attributes you can add or you can create your own attributes as well there is no issue no problem on that you can add as many uh, attributes as you can but according to recipient type for example i say let me go with the uh, active directory users and computers and let me configure a particular uh, uh, let, let, let create a condition out there now in the properties of a particular user you will find it out there is lots lots many uh, like there is an office kind of thing and uh, uh, also there is a province for example let me open uh, this is the properties now you can see there's conditions out there there are department and when you go with the uh, personal properties of a particular user you found there is an office it means you you can either give a, a company and you can give a state province for example 
uh, in organization you will get the option called job title department or company as well so that is totally uh, what for example I say help desk department this particular guy is part of a help desk this is one of the filter I'm using and it can be the part of a for example this help desk department not only that person will be the part of a help desk department it could be of a different location as well so you can configure the help uh, this particular guy in a, in a different department as well so who's, whatever filter he satisfy will go with it so for example say department once again applying okay Similarly, with Shaker and both help desk and Shaker user are part of a help desk. So I'm using the department and specifying the department, whichever department you want to select. There is lots of department in the organization. So I'm saying that I'm adding particular help desk since my criteria, whatever uh, SMTP I have used is help JC. So I'm adding help desk and uh, when you go with the preview option you will find out the two people one is help desk which is a uh, auto mail and shaker is a personal uh, mailbox of a company which shaker itself using and there is another head who will use the help desk so go with the new and we'll create the new dynamic distribution group so you need not to see one before we have created a, a, a group we have to add the uh, particular people out there we need to remove we need to add that is totally up to the organization and we have to do that uh, according to the manually but here once particular filter you use and if the particular filter satisfies then a user will be add the user will be deleted the user will be removed that is totally depend on the filter you are using uh, and this is what dynamic distribution group is all about so hope you learned something how to create dynamic distribution group thanks for watching